Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, adjusting a time series uh, for seasonality. So if uh, the variation due to seasonality, it's not uh, our primary interest, then we may need to seasonally adjust our data. That is, sometimes we care more about the underlying uh, issues within a data rather than the variations in the data set because of uh, seasonality. So one such example is the monthly unemployment data. For example, unemployment uh, in uh, our town. So we know that uh, in winter, unemployment rate in this town is much larger than unemployment rate uh, during uh, the summer when a lot of tourists travel in this town and um, there is more employment in this town as compared with the winter when most of these tourist spots are closed except uh, uh, during the ski season. Nevertheless, the concept here is uh, we may not be interested in uh, the variations in the unemployment rate uh, due to seasonality rather than our main uh, question will be to understand the core issues those uh, affect unemployment rate uh, in our town. So if our question is asking the core issues of unemployment rate rather than uh, the seasonal variations in the unemployment rate, uh, then we may need to adjust our time series data from seasonality before applying any time series analysis on this series. So therefore, we will seasonally adjust this data to remove any seasonal variation in uh, the unemployment rate in the town so that we can focus on the underlying uh, state of the economy in our town so that uh, we can uh, suggest policies or we can make uh, better predictions about the unemployment rate uh, in our town. So therefore, sometimes uh, we focus on uh, seasonally adjusted data rather than uh, focus on uh, data with seasonality. So we can seasonally adjust uh, data depending on the type of model that we want to use. So remember we can either use the additive model or we use uh, the multiplicative model. If we are using um, an additive model then we can simply subtract the seasonal component from our series like uh, this and uh, now our adjusted data will contain only the trend cycle component and uh, the remainder component. So we can call uh, this uh, data yt star or whatever data we're going to call it. And then this data is now seasonality free and we can concentrate on uh, the underlying causes. Uh, those are free of uh, seasonality. On the other hand, if our series uh, shows variations, those are uh, proportion to the level of the series. We may be interested in using the multiplicative model. In this case, what we will do, we will divide our time series by the seasonal component to get a new seasonally adjusted series. We can call it Y star. And now this series will contain only two components, trend component and uh, the remainder component. So thus um, our decision to seasonally adjust the data will depend on whether we are interested in uh, the seasonal patterns in the series or not. If we are not interested in uh, the seasonal variations, then it's better to use uh, seasonally adjusted data and uh, we can either use uh, the additive model or the multiplicative model and adjust our data for seasonality accordingly. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.